we're both here to um, to confirm that we are going to play the uh, annual charity baseball game tomorrow uh, at the normal time uh, at National Stadium, Nats Park. Uh, we do have one new charity that we have added, the Fallen Officers Fund. Um, in addition to the Boys and Girls Club of Washington, the uh, Washington Literacy Council, and the Nationals uh, Dream Foundation. Basically, we're playing the game tomorrow. Uh, uh, we're united, as re not as Republicans and Democrats, but as United States representatives. Uh, uh, we, we on, the, on the Democratic side, when we heard this news, we were practicing at our field, uh, and, and we can only imagine what our friends uh, were going through at that moment, and we felt kind of helpless to help them. Uh, we went into our dugout and, and huddled up and just started saying prayers for them that they'd be okay and that nobody would be hurt seriously. But um, Joe and I talked, and, and we've decided that... Um, we're not going to let incidents like this change our way of life or our daily routines. Uh, we're going to go ahead and play the, bu the ball game. Uh, players on both sides want to do that. They think it's uh, the right thing to do. Uh, I did tell Joe that I love him before the game, and I love him after the game. But during the game, uh, we're going to play to win, and, and I know Joe's team's going to do the same thing, and, and charities are going to benefit. Uh, our thoughts and prayers are with uh, those two officers. Uh, had Steve's personal detail not been there on the field with him, uh, this, this could have been much, much worse. You know, it shouldn't take an incident like this to, uh, to bring us together. I know in times of tragedy, we have a, uh, Americans do that. But uh, Joe and I have been reflecting a lot lately. Um, just on how we can still maintain our, our principles and our legislative agendas, but we could do it in a more civil way. And when the leadership of this country is civil towards one another, maybe the public will start being civil towards one another too. I checked both with the Speaker's office and I checked with the, uh, the Chief of the Capitol Hill Police and uh, they both assured us that, plus my staff has checked with the National Security Personnel Department, uh, it's going to be a very secure facility. It's designed to be secure, and uh, um, they have, we've all been assured that it will be a very safe facility tomorrow evening. Just